1982 All Whites were a big deal back in the day, and they still get recognised 40 years on. Well, Kevin Fallon does. Often, I'll be walking, and people will look at me and they say, you're the soccer man. I said, yeah. Turner, a nice ball on to Mackay. Mackay nicely in the wooden. There's the lethal left foot, and it's there! Every week, I'm thinking about the matches, and you know, when you go down to training, people ask you about what were the experience like, and you just think, man, they were great days, so we, we can't help going over them. They played 15 qualifying games, the most of any team in history. Goal! He's done it again, Ricky Herbert! And they travelled the furthest all around Asia. Vice-captain Bobby Armand is rightly proud of that. Our campaign was a fine achievement in the sporting world within New Zealand football. They still needed to beat China and Singapore to qualify, and having 19-year-old Winton Rufa helped. Rufa with a chance, and that's a great goal! Oh, and Steve Wooden's trusty left foot. But two players had a big impact on me as an 11-year-old boy in Te Awamutu. Goalie Richard Wilson and captain Steve Sumner. Sumner lost his battle with cancer five years ago. He had it all. He was creative, could score goals, good defender, great leader, and his passing sort of left, has left a void, not just for me, for the rest of the lads. I honestly believe you could actually say Steve Sumner was a legend. And I, yeah, James, I do miss him. Wilson went 921 minutes without conceding a goal. Oh! But at the World Cup in Spain, Wilson was dropped and in came Frank Van Hattem. Looking back, people mainly say that we were hard on him. I think if we'd have given him the last game, that might have balanced it out a little bit more for them. Meritorious work that Wilson did in Oceania. Wilson lives in Western Australia and has never attended one of these reunions. But 40 years ago, they were a very tight unit in very tight shorts. It was like a family, because you didn't see your family for a long, long time. You're in camp or overseas. And that did help, of course, with, with the development of the side. Even though they lost every game in Spain to Scotland, the Soviet Union and Brazil, it's bloody Zico. They defied the odds and made history. Whatever people say about us, we'll always be the first. That just keeps me happy. We'll always be the first. If you could change anything from back in 82, is there anything you would? Yeah, I'd take my beard off. <laughs> Never regret a beard. James McConey, Crowd Goes Wild.